Welcome back to the wiki show. Today I want to look at using the flag template. I actually got a question from a viewer wanting to know how to add the flag template to an article. This was actually a really great question and they sent me an example. Having an example of what you want to do is really helpful in figuring out how to do it. So they pointed out the flag and name template over here in this article, and I wanna show you how to do that. So whenever you're on Wikipedia and confronted with something you want to know how to do, if you can find an example of it being used on Wikipedia, that's a great place to start to figure out how to do it. So to find out how this flag is put in this article, I want to look at the Wikipedia page source. So I'm gonna to go to edit source, and we can look in the wiki text and find out what template they were using to create this edit. So the flag is triggered using a template and that template uses the three letter country code inside a set of braces. Let's go back to the project flag template to see how this specific template works because there are several different ways of creating a flag in an article. You'll notice there's flag icon, flag template, and flag you. These are all different ways of creating variants, but what's specifically used in this article is a shortcut flag template. Many countries have flag templates dedicated for that country. So what's being used here is instead of one of these flag templates, it's using a flag shortcut. So this template uses a set of braces and then the three letter country code. And there's actually a list of all the countries that have three letter country codes tied to a flag name. Let's go over to the sandbox and just try it out at a couple different ways to see how the template works so you know how to use it in an article. All right, so I'm over at the Wikipedia sandbox. There's several ways to do the flag template. How it's done in the article is using the three letter country code. So to get that type of template, I would just go and type in the three letter country code for that flag template. And I'll put the flag and the country name. And we have a list of all those different templates. So if I want the flag of Iceland, I use ISL. So if I want the flag of Iceland, I just type ISL and put it inside a set of braces. Really easy and simple to mark down. And if I want more than one in a list, I just put them both within the source code like that. I'll go ahead and publish the changes in the sandbox so you can see how this renders. So you can see that gives us the flag of France or the flag of Iceland and the flag of France. Now this template pulls from the country flag template. If you want something more custom, you need to use one of the flag templates. So we'll go see how that works. I'm going to go back to edit source. And I'm just doing this in the sandbox and the sandbox is a great place to test out edits and templates and stuff before you do it in an actual article. Go see my video on using the sandbox. Go to the insert tab and go to template. I have this visual editor toolbar set up in source mode. I also have a video about how to do that. So to add the flag template, I just type in flag and I'm going to be confronted with several different flag types flag country, flag icon, and flag data. So flag icon could give me the flag without any corresponding text. The flag template can give me the flag. So here I put in the country identifier. So let's say I want Switzerland. So I could just type that in there. And if I check, I can see more variants. So if there's a different historical flag for that country, you can also type in and specify a variant and a size or alternate text. But let's go ahead and just stick with the main country identifier. So we'll go ahead and insert that and I'll publish that change to see what that looks like. You can see when I use that template, it brings up the country flag and a direct link to that country's Wikipedia page. We'll take a look at a couple more of those flag templates. And you can go insert and you can find all this information over on the Wikipedia project flag template. There's a ton of great information about the different formatting and styles and customizations you can get needed for each article. Now, in the case of our example, this was inside of a template. They also ask if you wanted to get two flags next to each other, how you would do that. I'm just going to go ahead and insert a table in here just for testing purposes. So we could use the three letter shortcut country code format, or we could use the flag template. In order to add two flags to a cell, I add the first flag template and then the second flag template. In this case, I'm using two different styles, which you wouldn't really want to do in an article. This is for example purposes. So I'm going to publish that change and just see what that looks like. There we have a table and we have both of them right next to each other in one cell. And you could add breaks, you could separate them, put them on a second line, 
all based on what you need that template to do. So I will have links in the video description for the Wiki Project flag template page. So that's all I have for you today. Until next time, don't be a vandal.